Oshinoko episode two. Now, to be honest with you, I am still not over episode one. That that shit broke me. Okay. Now, I'll leave the reaction to episode one in the description pin comments so you guys want to see a grown ass 32 year old bald man break down and sob ugly baby tears. You can watch it in that reaction because that it was so unexpected to me. They made her seem like she was the main character and the show was going to be about her. And then, you know, no spoilers if you somehow watching episode two and haven't seen episode one yet. Uh, but yeah, I, I was, I was distraught. I was, I was broken. I was a broken man. And it still hit me. I was watching the re reacting to the anime opening and it still broke me. <laughs> it was like, oh my God, I, I don't even want to talk about it. It's so sad. I am very like curious or like kind of scared a little bit how it's going to go forward now. It's got a lot of hype to live up to because that episode one was wild. It's it's rated so high on my anime list. It surpassed its number one on my anime list right now. I think it still is. Surpassed Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and Attack on Titan. So it goes to show you how many people love this. But from what I've heard from people that have read the manga, it just keeps on getting better and better. So I'm very excited for this. If you guys enjoy these videos, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, ring notification bell to be notified for future reaction videos, any kind of anime lore videos, news updates, stuff like that. I cover a lot of anime um, related topics. I, I've made a video on why you should watch One Piece and why it changed my life. I got a couple more coming out on like Violet Evergarden and 86 that I'm working on. So you guys can look forward to those. If that interests you, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. And I want to take a moment to give a huge shout out to my patrons. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the support. Um, I'm going to have you guys listed up here. I, I appreciate you guys so much. If you guys do want to see the full unedited reactions, just subscribe to the Patreon. That's the only way to do it. It's in the link down below in the description and pinned comments. That's where I post my full unedited reactions and also early access to all this footage and exclusive Patreon content that only you can see on Patreon and not on YouTube because... Sometimes there's things that are blocked on YouTube that I can't post on here. And uh, sometimes I do Patreon exclusive content like podcasts or tier lists. Now, without further ado, let's see if we're ready for episode two and if it's going to live up to episode one. Okay, we're going to start with the... Oh, this is the actual opening. It's different from Yao Sobi's uh, video. Damn, look at them all grown up now. Oh, Ruby looks so cute. Oh, I can't wait to meet these new characters. 999. <laughs> I love this part. The glow sticks, dude. Ooh, that blue rose on fire. There's a lot of symbolism in this anime. Oh, shit. That song goes so hard, man. Oh, I, I miss her so much. Dude, the animation in this opening is fire. Oh, President's Wife. I, I gotta remember her name because I love her now. Certain large-scale idol groups audition. Okay. 136,000 applicants? First reading written application. She's cute. I love idols. They're pretty and cute like flowers and set everyone's hearts aflutter. They're the best thing ever. And I've, they've energized me so much. I want to become that kind of cool, cute, and lovely idol so that someday I can encourage people too. Past 1,288. Second interview. Hand in eight location. Oh, shit. Audition. Okay. Wow. One in 12.7%. She's so cute. Is her singing not good? Aww. Damn, from the time she was born. That's so sad. That's so sad, man. And then she was only with her for like five years, not even. Oh, they're 14. 13? Yeah, if they're going into high school, they have to be 13, then. Because there was a one-year time skip, a three-year time skip, so yeah, they have to be almost 15, uh, almost 15, and then 10 years. That was worried that was going to happen. Oh, the music's so good. He's on a revenge trip. Miyako took over the agency. Disbanded, oh my god. Oh my god, and she and she still took care of them? Holy shit, bro. I, I have a new respect for her. She actually raised her as her own. Oh my god. <laughs> that actually makes me so sad. God, the animation is so good. She's nervous. 
もしもし。はい。She not get it? I feel like they're debating us. She actually did get in. She's just like, Aww. She didn't? Ruby. That's sad. Fuck. Fool your own twin sister about what? <gasps> no, you didn't. Bro, come on. That's fucked up. Oh my god. That's fucked up. I don't, I don't like that. Okay, I don't like that at all. I hope she finds out and fucking flips out on him. I don't like that. You're not gonna crush her dreams that easy. I'm happy for her. Don't play, don't play that song. It reminds me of, of what happened. She's the real MVP. She's the real MVP of this show. <laughs> fucking whole episode. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be fighting tears the entire time. What is he planning? Okay, that's not a bad deal. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's the thing. You don't know if it's true or if she's jealous. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I don't Any group is gonna have rumors like that. Bro, come on. I'm actually getting annoyed with this shit. Like, she's not your fucking slave. Let her live her own fucking life. She's so cute. やっぱ大事な日は大勢しなきゃだよね。あなたがこれから入ろうとする世界は大変なところよ。売れなくて惨めな思いをするかもしれない。給料面だけじゃない。私生活でも。当たり前だよ。だって慣れるんだよ。
Yeah, how many times did I fail before she finally succeeded, you know? Are they gonna show that scene throughout the entire anime, bro? I'm still not over it. Bro. I wanna punch his mom in the face. Alright, so they have to be like 13. <laughs> what the fuck? You just wanted to go to the same school as his sister. My name. Aqua mean Hoshino. The girl that he destroyed in acting. Oh, her eyes are beautiful too. Is she still fucking obnoxious? Nandeyo. Wait, how long is this episode? Oh, it's over. Wait, this is the ending? Holy shit, this is fire! <gasps> this is the same person that does a Dora, uh, Dora, 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 whatever the fuck opening. Oh shit! Yo, this ending slap! Holy shit! Oh, I love the animation here. Whoa! I have, I have goosebumps. Oh my god. Yo, this is fire! Oh my god. Holy shit, this is good. This ending is good. Wow, I love the star animation. Holy shit. Wow, that was... Dude, this show is really good. <laughs> like, this show is extremely good. I might be my favorite show this year. I'm not gonna lie, even more than Demon Slayer. I know what happens this season Demon Slayer, and there's a lot of crazy shit that happens, but right now I am, wow, I'm blown away by how much I actually like this anime. It's so good. I was getting a little bit annoyed by the brother constantly trying to block his sister from doing what she wanted in life, considering of how fucked and like sad her previous life was. She wasn't even able to live, really. Like she was born with sickness, she had cancer, and she died at a very young age, and then she was finally reborn and wants to follow in her mother's footsteps, someone that she idolized and adored, and he kept on blocking her path to try and be more like her mother and, and be happy and live the life she wanted to live. Even knowing the consequences and what could happen, she didn't care. Like, that's her life. Let her live the life that she wants to live. I, I didn't like how uh, possessive he was and, oh, like, like, she's not your slave, bro. She has a mind of her own. She can do whatever she wants. I, I I was getting a lot of, like, I was getting really annoyed with that. I'm glad that they stopped doing that and, uh, or he accepted. And honestly, oh God, her, the president's wife, I'm going to remember her name now, Miyako. The president's wife. I absolutely adore her. She, my favorite character in the show. More than Aqua, more than Ruby, more than I. I love I, but... She, to me, is the MVP. She went from a character that was about to sabotage her place in that marriage to, like, blow up, you know, I's spot that she had kids, right? To ruin her career. To uh, actually growing to care and love for these children like they were her own, even before I died. And then, you know, after I's death, she, she says, you know, I know I'm never going to take your mother's place. I'm never going to take your mother's place. She's always going to be your mom, but I love you and I see you as my own children and I want to take care of you and raise you as my own. And and then just seeing her hug Ruby at that part, it, it was so heartwarming. And then grow, like seeing that she ended up taking over the agency for her husband because her husband literally like broke down. He couldn't do it anymore. Uh, she's been raising them pretty much on her own. It It's so, such a beautiful, like, story, like a redemption arc for her, right? Like, she really grew as a character more than anyone, I feel like, in the show. And she's a real MVP to me. Like, she raised them as their own children for 10 years, knowing what happened and to her, to their mother. And 
you know how she was before then it, it just absolutely blew me away i absolutely love her character and how much she truly cares for ruby and aqua like incredible incredible character incredible writing i absolutely love her she's my favorite character i hope we do see aqua like going back to doing acting because he was a good actor i'm sure he will and it's, it seems like that's probably the fastest way for him to find out who his father was i'm very very thoroughly enjoying i know this review post post episode is really long but i'm i'm loving this anime so much and i absolutely cannot wait for episode three sorry this episode came out a little bit late uh today i was very busy irl you know IRL stuff. I can't really talk about it, but very busy. I wanted to uh, react to it and upload it right away, but took unfortunately took a little bit of time. If you guys did enjoy this video and you made it to the end here, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, ring notification bell, be notified for future videos. And let me know what your favorite part about this episode was for me or, or your favorite character, either either one. Uh, favorite part of the episode or favorite character for me, uh, Miyako. I I absolutely love her she's incredible and of course ruby oh my she's so fucking cute man and again if you guys do want to see my full unedited reactions make sure you subscribe to the patreon the link is down below in the description and pinned comments that's why i post the full unedited reactions and also early access to all these videos way before they go up on youtube and of course some things that only go on patreon because i can't post them on youtube due to copyright like openings anime openings some songs are very heavily copyrighted and of course patreon exclusive content as well just for you guys Thank you guys so much for all your support. We're almost at a thousand subs. Incredible. Like only a two month old, two and a half month old channel. We're already at like over 700. Really appreciate you guys. It's my birthday this month and April 27th. So if you guys want to help me out and uh, get me to a thousand subs before then, I will love you long time. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I appreciate you all. And I'll see you guys on the next video.